Peter <laughs> Brennan. I'm I'm not, I know I have Pete's oh, name on the screen. I'm an animal. We are um, live. I don't even know what I'm supposed to oh, say. We're live. Oh, we're live. Rachel, we're live. I'm terrified. Uh, Rachel Feinstein, we've got, oh my goodness, my favorite people in all the land. Elizabeth, I don't think I've ever said your name properly, but I hope that was close. That's perfect. The great Liz from the cellar. We missed her so much. And oh my God, Jessica Kirsten, the funniest person in the world. Chris, I, I would usually be lying, but Christy Stefano and Jessica, I mean, you're like, I mean, yeah. you're fun. Listen. You, get it, you get it a hole in the team. And we That's all right. love each other. It's, we yeah. all love each other. And what's good is just, we're just four lesbians having a Zoom call right now. <laughs> 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 oh, Colin. CK. Colin Quinn. Oh, Quinn's in here. Oh, thank huh? you. Whoa. That is off the chain. <laughs> oh, shit. Colin shaved his beard. <laughs> oh, my God. Colin, what's behind you? I was trying to set a nice design, so I put up a... <laughs> You know? That's incredibly confusing. You thought you put like a foot sweatshirt behind you? Ooh, nice. look at that. At the cellar, too. Very That's sexy. Some. That's art. That is <laughs> definitely art. Wow. Who painted that of you? Was that like a stalker? Or some <laughs> well, it was, a, it was a fan of mine uh -huh. that first started coming to my shows with her grandmother when she was nine years old. Is her oh name... God. Colleen? No. <laughs> I love that you know his stalkers. That's oh, I know all of Colleen's. No, I'm not a stalker. She's been coming on my shows for 30 years. Have you guys had stalkers? Have you? you not two? like you, Rachel. Oh, oh no. Rachel, you, you, there's this bad. Smelly ass or something. What did your stalker used to say to us? <laughs> Rachel <laughs> wins all the stalker awards. Oh, yeah. all of well, them. she, she <laughs> would write me. I don't know if I ever told you about that, Colin, but she wrote me so many emails, and in the emails, she would complain about how I smelled, and she would write all the clubs saying that Rachel has a really foul smell. She has drippings that are coming off of her. We've never complained about a comedian before, but she was so foul. Who and did that? Yeah, she would often come pretend Great. to be a group of Germans in the audience and said, listen, as Germans, we try not to complain. We're a polite culture, but her stink was so foul. <laughs> he had to tell yeah. you because it was so disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> and then she would say, I smelled like farts. And then she started all these different yeah. domain names like Rachel Feinstein farts at farts.com and right. Melly <laughs> Feinstein at badhygienefarting.com. It was so cute. <laughs> Yeah. You have any questions, Colin, or did you hear anything? <laughs> I, wrote, I said, who was she? <laughs> she was actually, I used to be friends with her in high school, and she was like really it's, hot. Like, uh, it's actually, she was Dominica Saunders. <laughs> <laughs> and my, and I had to get a restraining order against her. And yeah, when I was supposed to go to court, my brother thought she was so hot in high school, he thought it was hilarious that she was stalking me. And he got a sweatshirt made that said, I'm on Shana's side. Oh my god. That is hilarious. Oh, that's perfect. And it had her mugshot on him. Oh, that's <laughs> perfect. He just thought it was so entertaining. When you sent me those so emails. Awesome. I was so concerned as a fellow Jew. I <laughs> freaked out. I'm like, what is this really? girl doing? I thought you were going to be beheaded. I'm not kidding. <laughs> like it's ISIS. <laughs> and then I had to go to, I had to go to the police station and file a police report and like, and I, the cops were like, well, what does she say? One of the cops was like, what does she say exactly? And I was like, she says I smell like farts. And <laughs> so embarrassing. And then he was like, really? I, I don't think you smell. I'm like, obviously, it shouldn't be up in the air whether I stay. <laughs> oh, you smell nice. Very nice. <laughs> but yeah. you, have you ever had uh, stalkers, Chrissy? Come Me? on. No, I've never had. Come on. I've never had a real stalker i had one a female to male no yeah male to female transgender person that came to all my shows up and down the east coast for like all of 2014 but they may have just been a fan but it was like very <laughs> there was like a full transgender person that would sit in the front row and not laugh at anything full i said <laughs> yeah thank god they weren't halfway through i, I just realized you probably don't have Think of them as stalkers because you sleep with them all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're uh, you know, they look like Ray Allen. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is my customers. <laughs> it was fucking Ray Allen. 
<laughs> Colin! Yeah! One time when I was on MTV, and yes, I do still start sentences that way. <laughs> there was a, a stalker girl that was going after Ken Over. She wasn't even stalking me. She was a host. And so they had this whole thing going on where like, watch out for her, she's coming by this week. She was writing all these letters. She's like the real McCoy. So I happened to be back in the dressing room areas. Nobody's there, it was all dark. And I see this little mini girl by his door. So I walk over like this, hey, what are you doing? She turned around, looked at me in the eyes. I was like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> she was the scariest and she smelled, she really did smell. <laughs> her mouth smelled so bad. It was like, I can't even describe what the smell was. It was horrible. She, she was gonna kill him. She's waiting outside his house for weeks. She wow. was looking for him now. <laughs> then Martha Quinn on MTV, there was a guy that was stalking her and he decided he was gonna kill me because he thought I was married to her because we had the same name. And then wait, he wanted to kill wait, explain, oh explain. wait, he wanted to kill you? Because he thought this guy must be married. There's only like there were only like eight employees at MTV that you would have known on the air. Oh, so right, right. Him, win, you know. <laughs> so then he literally had the mohawk like like a uh, taxi driver, and they caught him in Florida at spring break. We're doing a spring break show, and he's oh. walking through the crowd. They pull him down. Sitting down, the FBI's there surrounding him like this. It was just, it was, he was like great central casting guy. <laughs> and they locked him up for some other stuff for years. Were you- You got a nice that? apartment, Rachel. Oh, thank you. I mean, I, I just cleaned it in a frantic way. I'm a true pig. <laughs> How and, please. Yeah, there was like a hanging bra. It was disgusting. I'm a Where's foul. Where's Pete? Is Pete out at the firehouse? No, he's in <laughs> the other room with the baby. Um, yeah, he uh, he's home now. He's like home for the month. And what does Pete What does Pete think of the movie The King of Staten Island? Did he like it? Ooh, he hasn't yeah. watched it yet. He's only watched the preview. He's excited to see it because I know. wanted more Jess. I wanted more Jessica Kirsten. I needed Holy more Kirsten shit. in that movie. Jessica, it's you came dead. you came on the screen, and I was like, ah! It what a what a scene. Let what me tell you something. Yeah, I'm so excited. Scene. I'm not Ricky Velez. Killed. I thought Ricky Velez was the so best good. in that movie. He's such a good actor, so Ricky. He's probably going to be a star. He's going to get yeah. eaten alive by the gay Hollywood executives out there. They're going they're gonna, to, he's going to be their little fucking twink. I can't wait. He, he probably has a very little, like, butthole. Yeah. I can they love it. Oh, those guys are going to eat him up. Yeah. I could see him having a, quite a petite asshole. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I got an asshole you, like I a cat. I don't believe in myself as a host, just in case anyone thinks that I can't lead anything. I know that I can't. Yeah. Inside my purse right now, there's like, I mean, there's like gum stuck to a protein bar and like with a key in it. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. a race. I'm not a woman. I want to be You're a, a mom. Thank you are a, a mother. Mom. Oh, I start my sentences now. Thank as you. a mother. <laughs> as a mother, I just really feel... <laughs> How's the baby? What's that? How's the baby? Oh, I was who? Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on, Dad. <laughs> oh, he's gone. But for those of um, you who know, Jessica recently lost her father, and it's not. Uh, thank you. It's yeah. Be that hilarious. Um, to think about it at the same time, which is yeah. why we love but each most, other. Most importantly, how's the baby for real? She's really cute. I mean, she's absurdly adorable. Pete is definitely a better parent than I am. And he uh, he watches like YouTube tutorials on diaper hacks. And like, every time I'm burping her, he gently corrects me. He's like, actually there's four ways to burp and you're not doing it the right way. Like, so I'm, yeah, yeah he's better. Amazing. Same. Yeah, he's definitely way, way better. Amazing. He just gazes at her all the time and mm. does things right. And I, I'm just trying not to wound her in any way. <laughs> Okay. I'm fixing my ring light. I don't like it. What's that? What? Let me see. Let's see your ring light. Ooh, Come on, CQ. What? What? Look at that sweatshirt. So Look incredible. at the background. Chris, are you okay? Hold on. Yeah, I'm getting headphones. <laughs> what do you guys think? Okay. Oh, Colin, what is that from the yeah, what are LE school of uh, of zooming? Again, Look at that. that. Mine's amazing. Better or worse? Better. Better. We love it. Woo. Oh, see, Woo. all the difference in the world. I don't like the fact that 
I feel like Chris and Liz have some kind of secret lighting going on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't. I just have the light on. I have yeah, lights on in the apartment. That's it. Well, I'm in my. What is that? Look. 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 Wow, Liz, you run a tight. Uh, it looks nice over there. It's uh, yeah, it's it's. I'm in Miami at Marion and Amelia. You house, my parents' house. Yeah, I I found the the hot spot of Corona, and I left New York, and I came here to the next hot spot of Corona. No, 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 there's no Corona there. <laughs> Great. Corona no, was Corona. made up by the Democrats. It's, it's made up by the Democrats. <laughs> you don't know how many, how many of Pete's friends send him those memes every day about it being a liberal conspiracy. Yeah, oh I'm one of them. Like this. <laughs> I know Rachel looking over his shoulder. <laughs> I looked over his shoulder like a woman has been cracked a few times. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> He's reading, well, I think he's reading a libertarian book in the bathroom right now. <laughs> is, the ba is the baby sleeping? Yeah, she's, I think she's sleeping. But if she wakes up, Pete brings her in. He likes to yeah. do, you know, he brings her in, parades her. Yeah. Great. Gonna be awesome. you, you didn't, you didn't see the the gifts that we got uh, Rachel and Pete for the baby from the comedy cellar. You didn't see them all, did no, you? I mean, mm -hmm. Are they? What well, is it? Well, Wait, I, I show them every podcast, but I kind of need to show them again. Is that okay? Yes, please right. do. They're they're amazing, and there's there's some more coming. But I mean, some of some of your biggest Twitter fans are amazing uh, Photoshop artists. So I just downloaded these Photoshop Jeremiah. pictures of you, Jeremiah, Jeremiah Metzger, <laughs> you, uh, Sam Morell. I have one of Bobby as Ping from your TV show. <laughs> and I made one of Todd Berry, I made bibs, I made uh, onesies. That's good, Chris. I didn't know you guys won like the time. I apologize. It's, they're amazing. Fine. <laughs> Rachel's running around her apartment right now. They really are amazing. Fine. And yeah. there's also, uh, we also have, who was it? Norton at one point put his first driver's license picture on Twitter. So I downloaded that picture and I, it looks like a mug shot. It yeah. looks like, you know, 16 year old Norton. So I had that, you know, put on baby clothes. The company emailed me and said, why are you using Jim Norton's picture? Do you have the rights to it? I'm like, who said that? The Hysterical. company, the company that was making all these clothes. They emailed oh me like, do you have the rights to Jim Norton's picture? I'm like, I have Colin Quinn. I have, Colin Quinn, Todd Berry, like I, they're fine, but it, Jim Norton, I have to you make, answer you're to. Making it work, you're making it worse for me. She, I, I was upset. I was so upset. I'm, Norton. I'm more upset. You should be. You I'm, a, I'm upset at your hair. When are you going to get a haircut, Colin? Can I come cut your hair? <laughs> yeah, do you want to? I could. I know how to do it. You do? Do you? Yeah, I'm done with comedy. I'm fucking, I went to barber school in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube? Okay. On YouTube. Can I do barber school? She's sleeping. Huh? Listen, this Colin one is in her crib right now. She's sleeping with it on her butt. This is Keith. Oh my God. That is. What could be infuriating express? Can you imagine what <laughs> point he's trying to make right now? <laughs> oh, come on. And oh, the rest yeah. of them are in her room, but Pete's going to bring him in in a little bit. I just told him, I was like, oh, people were on to say hi to you. He's like, I'll be there in a minute. Like, he's used to that now. <laughs> right. Right. So yeah, he thinks he, he thinks who he is. Yeah. We oh, love yeah. Pete. <laughs> yeah. Come on. He's great. But, um, but, yeah, she's sleeping with the Colin bib on her, I think. I couldn't tell if it, I when I texted Norton, I couldn't tell if it annoyed him though. Does he mind that the baby's wearing his burp cloth list? <laughs> I don't care. How about that? Like, I don't care. I, I hope, I hope it annoyed Imagine if he got offended by that. Oh, I, I hope always, not. Well, you know, I always think everybody's mad at me, but I, I did feel like Norton didn't give a hearty enough response on that text exchange. And I thought he was pissed for some reason that she had a burp cloth. He's probably just getting it sucking someone's dick. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah. absolutely right. That's what I have to tell myself. They're, he's probably just sucking someone's dick. If I could just say that, that like, you. that's right. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's a therapy technique. It's not about me. He's sucking. Yeah. Dick. It's not yes. 
Exactly. Oh. Don't internalize. He's actively sucking someone's dick. <laughs> I'm not saying this to be an asshole. But I find nothing less interesting than Jim Norton. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> not to be an asshole <laughs> i love the way colin draped that sweatshirt like that is the reason you need a wife right there just like that you what you saw that dream. scene is so like yeah like jen did not see that no <laughs> what colin what room is that in your house what room is that it's the office good question chris it's the office. thank you <laughs> well you know i'm a, I'm a professional podcaster that's all he does all yeah. he does yeah. Wait, local, what is it? It's local what? What 98? is it? 98, what is that? 926. What is it? One of the carpenters. Carpenters. <laughs> One of carpenters. the carpenters. It's carpenters union. You sound like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> carpenters. <laughs> how you doing? I'll tuck it back. You guys don't know how happy <laughs> all this is over. These <laughs> just, oh, the world of Zoom is making me physically ill every day. <laughs> oh, trust me. Oh, trust trust me. me. I know. People ask, how's your quarantine? They're even abbreviating it now. Like, how's your core? Oh, so, I want to vomit. We left the baby bottle on the baby we're living. No? Oh, is that, that's, that's my daughter. Oh, can we see? No, I see the No, baby. she's got to go take a bath. But she disrespects you on Instagram. All the time. She does. She always disrespects me on Instagram. <laughs> Delilah and Jasmine are here where they're closing the windows. Hi. Hello. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How's that working out, Chrissy? Hold on. What, what happened, babe? The toys outside? Okay. <laughs> this is the funniest fucking thing. We're all going to die soon. I got to move out of this fucking city. Bye, everyone. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm getting, I was looking at houses in Piermont, New York. I'm moving out. I'm moving to Westchester or Rockland County. What do you guys think? We're in Rockland County? Yeah, what do you think? No? You're being your living room. Living room. Living room. Are you yeah. going to hear Verzi and Giannis and all that? I was going to say that, you, Bobby, Verzi, Giannis. That's, that's Westchester. I was thinking about Pearl River. It's all cops and firemen. Yeah, Pearl River. <laughs> <laughs> You know one of my favorite things you've ever said, Chris, is when you told me you don't you don't care for nature. That was one of my yeah. favorite. He said you don't trust nature, I believe. You're like, I don't trust I, I said, yeah, because growing up where I grew up, it's like we don't have real nature. Like nature is Prospect Park or Sunset Park, but like I'm not trying to go, you know, into the fucking woods or anything. <laughs> all, Do you understand that, Colin? Is that a Brooklyn thing? That he doesn't trust nature? Well, it just he's not lying because he mentioned Sunset Park as nature. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's literally two blocks of Mexican and Chinese setting up like outdoor so pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shut that family up. What I know. I, I want. I want to fucking deport them. Where's some pants, Chris? Where's some pants? <laughs> They're running you. Oh my God. Oh, get me out of here. <laughs> I know. Yeah. On loving tail. I wanted to hear that shit. Oh my God. Yeah. No, it's been, it's been crazy. She listens to you. Dead eyes. Just, she has no respect. Oh, it's I love it. Happier. Nothing. I love it. Nothing. That's she a doesn't. woman right there. Yeah. She does. She couldn't care less about, you know, podcasts. When I'm doing my podcast or anything, she just looks at me. She's not enthused. She's like, I need, I want the laptop back. You, you, she's like, you have too much time on the laptop, daddy. I'm like, it's my fucking laptop. She's like, too much time on the laptop. I'm like, all right, well, how the fuck do you want to eat? I love yeah. it. You'll have a long monologue. And then at the end, when you're plugging your date, which we're all like, I just want to say, I have a marching band coming through. And you. you want to just so proud of you. when the marching band came. Donate so she understands how loud it is. Can you explain? You donate your, your toys. Wait, <laughs> this is amazing. Is it loud by me? <laughs> yes, no, like, no. Loud? Yeah, like, and like mm -hmm. for the party. All right, hold on. For the virus. Like my head. I know. Colin's face. Colin wants to punch you in the face, Chrissy. Well, Colin. Colin
wants to just kick the shit out of me right now. This is, I mean, where am I supposed to go? This is my life. <laughs> Are we too loud? It's awesome. yeah. it's it's awesome. no. happening. What's, why is it like that? Liz yeah. is the only one I think would understand. Right. Chrissy's living in a daycare. I don't know. Can you hear what me it is. right now? Yes, we can hear you. Oh. Everybody else, do you nice? We well, Je where's Jess's kids? Where are your kids, Jess? Are they sleeping? I don't know where anyone is. I, I just, um, I'm really not going to make it much I'm longer. Right so, oh my God. You, you look like the curtains you in the back. You yourself. You look like yeah. you're doing the show from your bathtub. I'm in a closet. I'm oh. back in the closet. <laughs> I'm coming. Out. I'm coming out. You're going back in. Do you think, Liz? Do you think people will separate what's happening in Chris with Chris's own dysfunctional world and me as a host? Because that's really important to me. I, I really, really do hope so because Chris's life seems to be crumbling around him as we sit and watch this. So I mean, I'm Chrissy. Really I'm Chrissy crumbles. Crazy girls. <laughs> Colin is so infuriated. Hey, All I right, I'll mute, I'll mute myself when you guys are talking. <laughs> what? No. I'm glad he's talking. Keep talking. You don't understand. These things bug me like nothing else. You know, I know it's Walk. I did want to ask you, Colin, this has nothing to do with anything because, again, as I've mentioned, I'm a bad host, but <laughs> Colin. You you look in that picture on Twitter like you got in a lot of fights. What and happened? Did you get in a lot of fights in Brooklyn growing up? Oh, no, I mean, not a lot compared to real fighters, but like I would get in drunken brawls, but I wasn't like known as a great fighter or anything. I was, you know what I mean? I was more of a, uh, a in the middle of- A street fighter, if you will? A street fighter? No. Crappy. I'm saying I was more like a, what's that? When you were scrappy, like someone was, would say something, you'd be I like, "Scrappy." No, I would usually say something, and somebody else would throw a punch. Oh, right. but you ah. could hold your own. Could you hold your own? Well, everybody thinks that about themselves. I think so, sure, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that's why when when Pete is talking to Chris and Colin, there's like that. There's like an understanding, like it's like this Brooklyn thing. Like I don't know, it's like he respects on a different level or something. It's like you're speaking a different language. Yeah, I got in two fist fights. One, one, this friend Glenn, my friend Glenn Janis punched me in the face, knocked me unconscious. And then another time, I forgot the kid's name, but I know his crew was called the Palmetto Boys on Palmetto Street. He slammed my head in the back of his, his Honda Civic car door. Those are the only two fights I got, and I got knocked out both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Chrissy, you're such a bitch. <laughs> yeah, and I, I threw one I threw one swing at another friend of mine, my friend Andre. I threw one swing, fucking completely missed, and then I ran. Can you please, 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 Chris, tell the story of when you when you got really high and you walked up to that cop at like a Knicks game or something? Oh, my God. Oh my that God. was at the hockey game. Or hockey at an, game. Island, an Islanders game. game. I did edibles. I did edibles for the for one and only time in my life. It was Sherrod Smalls gave them to me. You're supposed to take half of a half of a what? chocolate bar. I took the, it's, oh yeah, sure, yeah, sure, I'm small. I don't know, uh, yeah. Sherrod <laughs> Biggie Smalls came. Yeah, Chloe Hillier yeah. gave it to me. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and I, I, was supposed to take, I was supposed to take half of a half and I took the, I ate the whole chocolate bar and then I forgot that I took them and then the first period buzzer went off and I thought somebody threw a spike through my head and I thought I was having a stroke. I thought the left side of my body went numb and I was with Jim Serpico and I was you dragging myself. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, the left God. side of your body probably did go numb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was with Obi was, and Jim He's Serpico. sitting on your left. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting on my left, yeah. I ha yeah, I had him in a fucking stroller. And um and, and then and then I uh and then <laughs> yeah I yeah I he was talking to me I just put I put a big I put a big in his mouth I said go bake some bread you short fuck and, then, and, then, and, then, and so and so literally I was so high I go outside I was like I'm having a stroke I told the cops I'm having a stroke I'm having a stroke the cop starts laughing in my face he's like you're not having a stroke I said I did drugs I did an edible. And he's laughing and tells me to get the fuck out of there. And then I took a cab. I lived on 90th Street at the time. I take a cab. I get out at 60th Street because the, you know, the nine and the six were messed up in my head. It was freezing cold. I threw my jacket out in the garbage. And then I got home. I took a shower with my shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. You're an example. You really are. I'm an example. I'm an example of what not to do. <laughs> but but I do no feel laughing about Sherrod Smalls. Sherrod <laughs> Sherrod Biggie Smalls. He also Gosh. says alls all the time, which I do. It's like it's, it's, I do love that about you. Like alls I want to do's. Alls I want to do's. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. When's the cell opening? <laughs> uh, all right. So. Phase two, we might do some outdoor dining. So you can come for some wings. Okay. Not next week, maybe like maybe like the week after. I need like a week to like clean everything and get shit going. And then phase three is two weeks after that, and we'll do indoor dining. So you can come and get wings again. And um, then phase four, I'm hoping, you know, we could do shows 50% capacity. Ooh. And then we'll just, you know, we'll do shows in the like cellar, the know. underground, the olive tree. I don't care. We'll just when put shows wherever we can. Probably in, we're looking at maybe six weeks. This is uncomfortable, but we're going to have to trim the, uh, the list yeah. of comedians. I'll we take know. care of it. Would you please? <laughs> Colin, Colin. This is the time. We've talked about this for so long. I've no said, more multiple spots. One no spot a night. Spots. This one is spot. your dream. Oh, this yeah, that's dream. it. Michelle, Michelle Wolf is fucking done. Out. <laughs> yeah. one spot no night. more that's 100 it. spots anymore. One spot a night. That's it. Doesn't that's matter Hanley who you out. are, where Wolf you came out. from, what your and credits guess what? are. Celebrities call in. No yep. drop in. Call and in. no fake names. And no fake names. Yeah. Unless well, it's just... of somebody that like uh, abused you as a child, because that was kind of funny. <laughs> so the name of uh, Bobby. Abusive yeah. yeah. I do think co celebrities should call. I do agree with you completely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that's... Colin, you're a celebrity. You are. I've never dropped in in my life. I know, but that's my point. It's like you are a celebrity. That's what makes you one of us. <laughs> you're one you're one of us colin sorry you hear it? As much you as you try drag yourself down like you let the others drag you down yeah did he but, say that what, what was the exact quote patrice you mean yeah on one of the last episodes he goes man look you tried to help us you tried to bring us up we appreciate it but all we did was drag you down <laughs> 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 it was, it was so true. Deep satisfaction. It was so true. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. It is. Oh, it's so sad, but it's so true. It's great. <laughs> it really is. Baby, That's, okay. I can imagine how. Stop trying to pretend to be a good parent. It bugs me. <laughs> <laughs> really? You gotta take a bath, Mama. No, I actually think you are. There's a certain kind of foul guy that's as foul as you that this is the one thing uh, you do uh, well. Oh yeah, my God, I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She yeah. No, she came yeah. here. She came here. It's like, this is you, like, this is you, like, confessing, you know, like in a Catholic church or something. You know what I mean? You had to yeah. do one thing right. I did that. I did the one thing right. Did you wear that black shirt on purpose, Chris? Because it was like, of course he did. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I, I got I got no shirts left. I got no well because you know what it is. I put on I got tits again. I put on quarantine fifteen, so black hides my tits. Yeah, I put on fifteen. You put on fifteen? Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Let's see it. Oh. No. Take it off. No. Colin, I want to I want to see Colin's house. Can we do a tour of your apartment, Colin, no, I, or no? I'm very curious. No. <laughs> uh, all right. What a bad fun. Also. Colin, who used to complain that they've known you for year, like 30 years and you've never once invited them to their house? It sounds like yeah. something Robert would complain yeah. about. Yeah, oh, it's definitely yeah. a Robert remark. Yeah, that sounds yeah. like I, I, Colin, yeah. I've asked Colin about five or six times to go get coffee and hang out and walk around. He never responds. He doesn't oh my like God, that actually makes me feel so much better because I felt very jealous of your and Colin's connection in Ireland. I felt like you were having a lot of secret meetings. So we, I'm we had a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a yeah. great fun, but I felt like you have an extra connection with Chris. How do you think Sam Marlin and uh, 
Mark Norman felt they were really pissed. Oh, they so, had you know, what, you know the funny, the funniest thing of all time, the funniest thing of all time was we're going through customs in Ireland, going back to New York, and Sam, Sam. Uh, you know that you know you got to get like searched or whatever like that. So Sam was just in a bad mood because we were like waiting on waiting online, and then whatever I you know I just go through the metal detector, no problem. I'll wait for him, and all of a sudden they like randomly search him, and they're searching him, and he's like, "You guys are doing this because I'm Jewish," and they're like, "What?" And then they took, they took him to a private room. He almost missed the flight. I had to wait for him for like an hour and a half. He's like, "It's discrimination." I'm like, "It's because you were yelling at them that you that you're being discriminated because you're Jewish." <laughs> such a cranky i love sam he's such a cranky bitch like oh he is God. one of the crankiest people i've ever met in my the life the fun and you know what else was great because he was already in such a bad mood and then he didn't ask me where i was sitting until we were walking on the plane and he was like what row you got and i got first class and i sat right in a nice spacious first class seat and he was in a middle seat in the 35th row <laughs> <laughs> Across the Atlantic Ocean, in the middle seat, furious. But Sam Every looks like he could be. walked by, he was like. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. Just pissed. Right, so he is a whiny, I mean, Sam's yeah. sex are amazing. It's always like, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I might have a fever. I'm, I don't know. Yeah. I fever. That is about... next sex is something about the Knicks. I'm just feeling really depressed about the Knicks right now. And it's about <laughs> Anger at his father. It's like it's like clockwork. <laughs> no. really yeah. I have a lot of anger at my dad still. Something's <laughs> next. I can't root for them anymore. It's too painful. I got. I definitely think that I, he thinks he has a disease of some sort. It's, I love it. I love it. But oh, Sam, there's Pete. There's Pete. Where is he? Pete. Where's that baby? <laughs> What's up, Pete? Hey. Oh, hey. Look at this lineup. What's up, Pete? Hey. The A team right here. <laughs> the yeah. Irish, it's the Dublin reunion. Aye, oh. the Dublin reunion. <laughs> Local 926, of course, of course. Wait, wait, what is, what is, what is that? Brooklyn language, what is that? What is the significance? <laughs> hey, hey, listen, I, I'm looking forward to the Father's Day blog, buddy. I can't wait. <laughs> That's right, we're in the DWD, right? Dad, dads with daughters, right? That's, that's what, yeah, what, I've never heard that, but whatever you say, guy, I guess the DWD is what we got. You're in, buddy, you're in. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you, oh Pete. Now, I like a little drive-by by Pete. <laughs> we I love Pete. I go cameo only, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Wait, can you get the bibs out of the baby's room? It's okay if you wake her up. Okay. <laughs> I'm a bad mom. <laughs> you were part that of it. was hysterically funny. <laughs> DWD. That's with daughters. That's really D -D. flowers for the dining room table. <laughs> he got those for me like two months ago from Trader Joe's. And then here's how he gave them to me. He laid them on the table next to the rest of the groceries. I waited for an hour for him to remember to hand them to me. Finally, I was like, is this for me? And he was like, oh yeah, take that. Oh yeah, take that. Petey's <laughs> uh, like, being a DWD. Yeah, no, he doesn't know how to be. Like, <laughs> he's worth, he can't, like on our, on Christmas, I was like, don't get me something from Costco. Don't get me anything you can put on top of like salmon and raspberries. I don't want anything from Costco. And he got me a 12 pack of socks from Costco for Christmas. <laughs> Hilarious. If that didn't make you gay, I'm shocked. I know. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't just go to the softball field to find a partner after that. Yeah. I mean, that is bad. <laughs> that, you know, yeah. I like a sexy nightgown. Do not, under any circumstances, get no. pajamas from Costco. Don't do it. Tell them the story you got. Yeah, from Costco with popcorn on them and, uh, and tickets that said admit one. I was furious. <laughs> Rachel, tell them about the outfit you bought. Oh my God. And you ordered. So that is such a funny story. Okay, so he, he's really neat. And I'm like, really, uh, as you know, I'm slovenly. And uh, so I was like, I ordered a Catholic schoolgirl outfit. <laughs> oh, I love this story. <laughs> oh my God. Outfit. I love this story. I thought I would turn him on. I was like, that's what Catholic guys like, I guess. I don't know. So I ordered a Catholic schoolgirl outfit on Amazon. 
But so I accidentally good. pressed 12 because I was like a little drunk when I ordered it. So then a, a dozen Catholic schoolgirl outfits came to our house. And he's and he got pissed. He was like, what is all this crap? You don't need all this shit, you know? Oh, I was God. Like, it's a Catholic schoolgirl outfit. Oh. For a whole class. Well, I bring it up to school. What is? You don't need this crap. And I was like, I got it for you, you know. <laughs> and then later out, you didn't later return on, them, did came, you? I was did doing you return some them in my Catholic schoolgirl outfit, like some kicks and some sort of a sexy horse jig. And he, in the middle of my horse jig, goes, "That's a lot of crap on that table, but it's a nice table. I'm glad we bought that. It's a nice <laughs> table." <laughs> yeah, about the coffee table in the mi mid horse jig. It was By the way, painful. not to stereotype, but in the middle of your story, Jessica goes, do you return them? <laughs> because she told me she never did. I know. I don't return anything. The fact that they're still there is makes me- Aggravate like, you. No, <laughs> no, I know. I wish I was like that, but I'm so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I, oh. my whole family would have returned them. But Rachel and I are very similar that way. Like, just like but, I can't you didn't, return them. I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Even I'm shocked you didn't return. I've them. never returned anything. I don't return things. Who the hell was that? Who the hell was that? Who the hell was that? Was that? that was not Pete. What just happened? Who the hell was that? <laughs> you have an intruder. What is <laughs> that? I'm a ghost nurse. I'm just a baby nurse. <laughs> What? Oh my God! It was like a little kid. I did not do that. Like that. She's right here. I don't. I. I love that she ducked. Like we wouldn't. Did see take her. a little kid? <laughs> yeah. Who? She's very petite and tiny. Her, but... you're, oh. Yeah, she is. Oh. oh. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, get the hell out of here. Oh my God, piece. Didn't it look like I was? Oh a <laughs> And like she thinks she needs to do that. Oh my <laughs> god. She bent down. <laughs> People oh my do that. She's looking for the bibs. It's okay. You don't have to look She just oh looks frantic. Oh, yes. She's looking for the bibs. That's so you terrible. Her? Oh, That's Sam Morell. Oh. <laughs> See oh. Let's hope she does vomit on that picture. Uh, That's what I'm saying. I know. It's That's all what eyebrows. Chris said. When she said it to me, she said, I hope she pukes on all these all right, deviants. Like that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Thank you. She just, that was what she was doing. Hey. Rachel, this is amazing. <laughs> he just washed and, and folded these. That's Todd Berry. This is my favorite. This might be my favorite. That's the best one. How <laughs> disturbing is that? Ugh. That's <laughs> it. It's just. I need my Lanta. It's that beyond. Is. And then Colin, Colin says Saint Genius on it. That's <laughs> because he's a saint. We love Colin. We love Colin. I think there's there's some more Collins coming too. You see that's Colin? Saint yeah. Man. Very special. That's very cute. This is the only one we she really respects. The rest of them. <laughs> hey, you should put those onto the Catholic school uniforms. Combine them. Oh my ah. God. I was about when I did my whore jig in the Catholic schoolgirl uniform and you said that was a nice table behind me. <laughs> With walnut wood. <laughs> Extremely painful. And I, <laughs> oh, oh my God. Let me see, please. Look at that. Look at that ball, John Pete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wearing Frankie. any undies. <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> You're burping your <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my oh my god. So beautiful. Rachel, I can't take it. And Pete, I cannot take that baby right now. Oh. Look at her. You're a great DWD, Pete. The DWD. <laughs> I talk about the box though, too. Yeah, that, I that might is. not exaggerate. Admit one? Yeah, they said tickets that said admit one on them. The deepest pajamas I've ever felt. And I specifically said, do not get me pajamas from Costco. I don't want them. <laughs> That's what he gave me. I love the name. I love the name Frankie. It's a great name. Yeah. Aww. It is. Say goodbye, Frankie. So cute. Goodbye, Frankie. Uh, there it is, PD. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a little shake. All right. <laughs> 
Chrissy, you got to get out of that house, man. You yeah. Gotta, you I gotta get out of that house. With this right now. I've drank in a whole bottle of white wine. I've drank. <laughs> I've drank. In. I've drank. In. <laughs> uh, all right, oh, I'm getting out of here. Lord have mercy. God help us. Oh my Chris, God. Chris, okay, everybody stop. Chris, your, your home calmed down. What happened? What? Your home calmed down. What happened? Oh, everybody's sleeping now. Everybody, everybody's sleeping on the couch. Baby's sleeping. Jasmine's sleeping. Everybody's there. They're, they're, I think they're sleeping. Remember yeah. in Ireland when we went through that really fancy, um, Jess, we were in this beautiful church with like a lot of history behind it. Mm -hmm. And it was such an, it was like some sort of regal room. I don't know. Colin probably actually knows what it is. I'm too stupid. So I don't Trin know. It was Trinity College. Trinity <laughs> College. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> what was it, Colin? Yeah. The Trinity one you College? The place. No, the that Trinity was the College museum. Library. No, right. no. Colin knows. You're real. I, I trust Colin. It was that Irish museum, but it had all English stuff in it. Right, right. So it was an Irish, and there was a special regal dining room. And uh, this woman was giving a monologue about the importance of the room and, and what, what sort of historical dinners took place there. Jessica, Chris farted so loud. <laughs> it was like a bomb went off. And then he goes, what? I have a daughter. <laughs> He's done with the longest, loudest part I've ever heard. He goes, come on, I got a daughter. <laughs> yes, do you remember the time Ronnie Chang was performing and I waited for the right yeah. time for one of his jokes to miss and I ripped the loudest part? I the think whole it was underground. Yes. It was underground and the audience yes. seller heard it. it was, yeah. I fell off my chair. <laughs> yeah. Remember, I physically I, fell off my, I fell off the stool. And because I timed it perfect with the joke that bombed. He was killing it. He had a joke it that was, bombed and I ripped it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just, it was. It was. Could you imagine, their heads. Could you imagine yeah, bombing a joke and then hearing a fart yeah. that loud from the oh, stage? My. God. But oh. then he said to me after, he was like, was that a you? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that, that Ronnie, Ch we have to flag that Ronnie Chang impression. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Was that, that was, was problematic. I'm gonna, dis I'm gonna socially distance myself. <laughs> <laughs> was that a you? <laughs> I can't wait to open back up. <laughs> I know we're all You're going to down eventually, but I don't want it to be for that. Can you imagine oh, yeah. how offensive all of us? We've lost our minds. We're going to go and be oh, like, yeah. everyone, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, oh, yeah, I know I'm going down. It's just a matter of what for. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> but Chris, oh. you also farted into the mic in Jessica's podcast, like within a minute. You yeah. asked yeah. a really thoughtful question, and you just like ripped a loud, long-winded Yeah. Phone. God, that was funny. I laugh yeah. at all that stuff. I think it's so funny, especially now because we're all dying. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm not okay. For a month I was okay. And I was like, you know, I can get into it. Now it's not, nothing's all right. I need to be around people as sick as I am. It's not good. I, I know. <laughs> well, let's go in two weeks. Let's all go and meet for wings. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll I would do I'll be, I'm there. Love it. Oh man. Yeah, I'm not people, next week, probably we all the week. sit six feet apart. I'm going <laughs> fucking Washington. I know. We can, we can sit on the stoops <laughs> across the street. <laughs> One person, yeah. No, I think, yeah. I think we'll probably have, we'll have some tables outside, I hope. And, you know, we'll, uh, we're gonna definitely going to have Dan wings. Natterman. <laughs> He's, I didn't invite him. <laughs> it's it's going to be wings and, I don't know, maybe burgers and chicken cutlets. Like, it's, I'm going and some hummus. Do you have any vegan can't. options? All right, Chrissy, go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, I got, I gotta go. <laughs> I just, I just want to add that. Remember when we did the Zoom baby shower and Natterman, Chris, you did, you weren't there because, well, whatever. Oh, he's asshole. already, yeah. He so, was. Fuck yeah, forever. But um, <laughs> no, I love Chris. But so in the middle of the shower, Marina had locked everybody out because she didn't want people to be allowed in the shower. She was like some sort of controlling policy that she come up with. And then Natterman was the only one that couldn't make it in. Everybody else came in. <laughs> but Natterman was locked out for like a half an hour. <clears throat> I didn't know he was locked out. Yes, he was trying to get in. I had like eight missed texts from him. Like, this is bullshit. This is <laughs> <Whoa>. Wait. <laughs> I never knew. 
And then he had a whole beach scene behind him prepared, you know, and he was locked. And then he said, I keep getting kicked out. <laughs> Rita thought he was like, he was bombing the Zoom or something. His background oh. was absence. <laughs> Angry text from afterwards. This is bullshit. <laughs> it's your shower. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, it's oh my Jesus. I miss you guys so much. I'm not okay at all. This isn't healthy. <laughs> are we all gonna? Are we just? Let me say this before we go. Are we all gonna like? Are we gonna be okay after this? Do you think we'll be able to do stand up still? Like, will we be? Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes, because everywhere yes. else. I mean, are any of you? I mean, Colin. I know you're not. Jessica, Chrissy, are you guys going on the road at any point? No. I am. I'm going in. I'm going to Nashville, July second to the fourth, and then Tampa, July twenty third to twenty fifth. Yeah, I mean yeah. these these places are open. There's seventy five percent capacity. They're allowed. Yeah. So I mean, wow. yeah. Brendan Schaub and Brian Callen just went to Houston Improv and they sold twenty two hundred tickets throughout the weekend. Mark Norman was in Houston what like three weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah. Tom Pop no, is going to be in Salt Lake City this weekend. I don't know if I don't, I don't, I just don't know if I can from an airport right now. I need a minute. No, I, um, yeah. The New York, New York airports are scary because they're so empty and they're so militant. Like, you know, you, I went, when I left New York a month ago to go to California, I walked into terminal four at JFK and you know, it's a ridiculously busy terminal. There were three flights leaving from that terminal that day. So wow. it felt like, you know, it was, it, it wow. felt like this post-apocalyptic world, you know, gloves, mask, everything. But then you get off the plane in Salt Lake or you get off the plane in Atlanta and people are sitting in the airport drinking beer, having wings in the, <laughs> at the restaurants. And I was like, what's happening? Right. Easy. And Crazy. Colin, do you think everybody took your drive-in idea? Because didn't you come up with that as a joke first? Yes. They stole it. Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said that he's like that was Colin's idea. Do you remember? <laughs> like, that's bullshit. I backed him on Big Mask. <laughs> he said he also backed you up on Big Mask. That was one of the funniest things I've ever read in my life. What was it? You said that you said on Twitter that you think Big Mask is behind all this. <laughs> Big Mask. I was crying. <laughs> Yes. But I was actually asking not if not if we're gonna do stand up again, but if we're gonna stink for a little while. That's what I was asking. Are we gonna stink it up? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No. One hundred percent. I'm gonna. Stink oh yeah. We're gonna it. fucking eat it. Yes. Yeah. I have no. Are we gonna have to address this right away, or can we just go into our normal complaints? It's gonna be great. Everyone's just gonna eat dick. It's gonna be so bad. I'm gonna love it. I can't <laughs> wait. It's gonna be me too. Yeah. Best time. Every for comedy for me ever. Yes, yes. Be, oh, I can't wait. But, We're gonna bomb like it's a lounge in Williamsburg. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be great. <clears throat> be amazing. I, I miss you guys a lot. I miss you. Too. I really, really do, I can't well, take Are you just saying that because you're the moderator? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you just sound like you're trying to end the show. You're trying to casually it, land the fucking plane. First, but we do, we, we like, have to go. I mean, we're at, we're, we're almost out of time. So we need no, to- No, no, I did check the time. Colin has to go watch a TV show and have a treat. We know what time it is. So yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> we know. So but I had to leave before anybody left me. It was a, it's a fear of abandonment, really. Yeah. <laughs> For once, I wanted to be the first to say goodbye. But in a yeah. couple of weeks, we'll all we'll all meet at the cellar and we'll have some wings and dive. Yay! Let's and do it. I love you guys. I'll be there in a couple of weeks, Liz. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.